when the relationship works well in therapy and a child is able to relax his defenses and able to feel better about his experience and feel that there's someone who listens and understands and who won't be judgmental, someone who can support the child in try helping the child to recover. Uh, when that happens, then, then it becomes possible for the child to, become in, to get in touch with grief. Grief is very, very painful. And it's something that is avoided at all costs in a child and can only emerge after a good, solid relationship and trust has been established and a child somehow gets a signal. Now it's time to get in touch with these depressive emotions. Now it's time, now it's okay to feel all the hurt and pain. Uh, but without doing that, the child can't move, move beyond where he or she might be. And quite often, a lot of kids you find in school who are aggressive and hostile with the weapons are kids who have not been able to grieve. And they've had a kind of impacted grief, kind of grief upon grief, never an opportunity of getting those emotions out. It's almost like there are two threads that run through people. One thread is anxiety and stress and, and, and being flooded and overwhelmed. And another thread is loss, separation, uh, death, uh, depression. So you've got these two threads running, these two themes of human life. And what happens when there's a, a traumatic death, uh, saw another kid who saw his father get, his father stab his mother 64 times. So he's dealing with the stress of that and the frenzy of his father stabbing his mother to death, and he's dealing with the loss of his mother. So he's got two themes running, an anxiety theme and a grief-depression theme. 